Picked the place up for fifteen hundred bucks back in nineteen sixty four. My grandfather was a drinker back in the day. He put him down, but a war is known to change a man, and the whiskey's known. Hey y'all, Big Bub here from Big Bub Outdoors. It's September 23rd. It is opening day youth season. We got out here nice and early. Um, we got set up. Legal shoot night was at 7.09. Um, right at 7, 7.31. Um, I was looking over here to my left, watching a couple deer. And Nana said, Dad, there's a deer coming down the path. I was like, okay, you watch it. Daddy's watching these. And I was like, if you can shoot it, go ahead and shoot it. So I'm over here watching these ones. And I look over, and I never seen the deer over here. So I thought maybe she was just seeing things, you know. I was like, it happens. But she's a good hunter. She knows what she's doing. Not. And so I'm over here focused on these two that's way over here in this green gob grass next thing i know boom i look up deer fell over it had walked it was about when i looked over it was behind some brush and i didn't see it and it walked 15 feet in front of us well not 15 feet 15 yards and she shot and it fell right over it's a yearling um didn't look like it had any spots or anything uh, a couple spots would have been. did it she thinks it might have had a few spots but um, that's legal here in Indiana. Um, she's using a 350 uh, Legend with hand-loaded rounds I made myself. Um, this year she's using a Savage Axis with a red dot. That's her sister's um, because she's been having a little trouble with her eyes with getting the scopes adjusted now. Since she got new glasses, it's something that we'll have to play with more. Um, so she went to the red dot this year and wanted to try it out. Um, we got a bog. I don't know if y'all have seen that or not, but if you have a youth hunter and they can't freehand, that is the greatest thing in the world. You just lock it in, load it, put it on safe, and as long as they know what they're doing, you won't have to do anything ever again. I didn't have to do nothing. I set her up, let her go. And she is accurate. She keeps a half an inch group at 50 yards. So we are confident at 50 yards. And obviously that one was only 15. Um, Jonesy just messaged me. Um, from what I'm understanding, it looks like Hannah shot one at like 7.53 or 55 or something like that. I have to read the message again. Um, I hand loaded him some rounds too to try out this year. Um, we went with a different tip, something that's going to open up a little bit bigger. Um, we'll leave a little more devastation. Um, Nana's went down in her tracks. Um, we got some new hunting gear this year. We got some custom Big Bub Outdoor hats made just for deer hunting. Um, so we're sitting till 10 and we're going to see if anything else will show up. So, wish us luck, and hopefully next time she tells Dad she's going to shoot so I can turn the camera on. Catch y'all later. Hey y'all, Big Bub here from Big Bub Outdoors. It's just a little after 10. We had one deer show up after she shot that one back here. I was watching deer out here when she shot. And I'm going to show you this gun is unloaded. It is 100% safe. There's a magazine. And chamber is open, as y'all can see. Nothing's in it. She was sitting on that side. Daddy's on this side. I have to move mine to get my butt out of that little bitty door. 
It's easy getting in there, but getting out is a pain in the ass. So I'm watching these deer over this way through these little openings. And she told me she seen one and I, I never seen it. And then all of a sudden, boom, she shoots. And as y'all can see, it dropped in its tracks. It kind of like flipped and it was facing her and it like flipped this way. She was right here. So I walked down here. Like I said, it was facing her. She flipped it over. It's a, it's a yearling. I mean, it's just out of its spots. Right. Let's see. Get that hole. Right there. Right there in the front shoulder. So, we're going to get this thing out of here. And uh, we're going to... Uh, come back this evening she said she wants to go hunt by the big oak yep. so we're gonna be same area just about 150 yards to the south um she seen the, that's where those other ones came from that i was telling her about and they come from the south and she wants to try and cut them off so we're going to go there tonight and try and get a bigger one or a doe. I don't have a whole lot of room on this private property. Um, like I said, it's connected to a bigger property that I have permission to cross. Um, but I don't have permission to hunt. So we've got like just over two acres that we're allowed to have. And we follow the rules pretty well. And uh, it's paid off for us the last couple years. Um, here, bug. So how'd your hunt go? Good. So what happened? Well, that was facing that way. And the doe was sitting behind a tree. Dad didn't see it. So I waited a minute so he can come out more. And then I saw it without Dad knowing. Yeah. I didn't even get a chance to record anything. But a good job. Uh, I was just too excited. you too excited? <laughs> How many does this make for you now? Three. We're going to try and make it four this year? Yes. Yeah? Because this is my Dodio. Well, this is Hannah's. No, this is your fourth year hunting, but only third year killing something. Yeah. You didn't get anything your first year. No. No, we remember we went with uh, Uncle Dustin and stuff, and we went and sat out there with the crossbow, and we didn't get nothing. Oh, yeah. And then Daddy bought you the three fifty Legend so you could use a rifle instead. Yeah. So you didn't get one until your second year. But you got three out of four years. You're doing pretty good. Most hunters don't do that good. Yeah. So what are we doing this evening? Um, We're going to come back, and we'll see if I can get a buck or a doe? Where are we going to go? The... Where you, it's your to hunt. Where do you want to go? Mm. Are you wanting to come back here? Do you want to go over there? Where you seen the does this morning? Yeah, over there where you seen the, the does this morning. So we're going to go over by the big oak tree? Yep. And reason I call it big oak tree, y'all, like, y'all don't understand, like, six people can't put, put their hands around it. But... Yeah, this is my ground blind. I painted orange on it so it can be seen. I'm going to paint some more because I didn't like it. Um, of course, I have my orange that I keep with it. I like to be very visible. These are the new hats this year. The big bub outdoors. Um, this is that blind that y'all have seen a few videos on. Like, you can see through it. <laughs> I don't put my hands through it. We pulled that window down over there because we had one up there about 25, 30 minutes after she shot this one. And it was walking that high side. Never did get a shot at it. It just disappeared. I think it went into a field. There's a big bean field right up top up there. I think it went into the bean field. Um, but it never came down this way, down the hill. 
Um, of course, this one is open because this is the one she was shooting out of. Um, otherwise, we leave them closed because you can see, like I said, you can, from in there, you can see out of them. But from out here, you're not you're not seeing in there. So, thanks for watching. That's our morning hunt so far. Um, I'll let y'all know if Hannah got one. I was told that she did take a shot. Um, other than that, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I know where Jonesy is. And there's really bad cell service out there. And I have meh here. So I'll, I'll know soon. Um, but we're going to get packed up, get out, go get the deer cart. Um, come back, grab the deer, and head out. I mean, it's not a super heavy one. But, you know, I'd rather use the, use the deer cart, make it easier on us, and get it out of here. So... We're going to get packed up, and I'll catch y'all later. <laughs> hey, y'all, Big Bub here from Big Bub Outdoors. It's still September 23rd. It's a uh, little after 5. Me and Nanny Bugs had a different ground blind spot that I have. This is my old ground blind that I've set out about a week ago, so it's been out this whole time. Um, I don't leave my other one out because it's a super expensive blind. I've had this one 25 years, and it's more duct tape and holes than anything. So, but it's been out here. Um, we're, we're after another deer, a buck or a doe. Uh, I kind of got a late start. I wasn't feeling good um, after we got home, and I got the deer cleaned up. I've been getting sick real easy ever since I had COVID, and uh, I had to lay down. She almost didn't get me up to come out here, uh, and uh, I got some friends on out mountain, and I didn't want to run their hunt, so we went to this spot so we didn't have to cross past them. Um, Hannah did get her doe this morning. Great big one. Pictures are on Facebook and stuff. Um, if I had to guess, one one fifty, one sixty. Um, and wait, nice stud of a deer. Um, and of course, y'all get to see nannies in here. Um, so we're out. And uh, she's already breaking into the snacks. <laughs> and uh, we're going to see if we can't get another one in the freezer at night. So hopefully, because there's nowhere for them to come but in front of me or to our right. So if she can see it. I can see it, and I can video at this time instead of me looking over this way at deer and her seeing deer here that I don't see. That's not what happened this time, so I'll get it recorded. Um, I like recording um, her hunting because she's super serious when it comes to shooting, but as soon as it's over, it's like the greatest thing in the world, so I'll catch y'all later. came right here like this and went through this window and went out that window and landed up there. It was really cool. Yeah, that was sweet. Hi. See y'all here in a little bit. I hit it. I know you it. You got it. Oh. You got it. It kicked me a little bit. But. You got it. Oh, God. <sighs> did you get that? I did. Can I see it? Wow. Hey, y'all. Big Bub here from Big Bub Outdoors. Let me show you. There's my ground blind. Mm -hmm. Are we just there? 
<laughs> Old Slayer here on another doe. Yep. This is point of impact. So we're going to go load up the truck, come back, find our deer. What happened, bug? So, um, we were waiting a while, and then two, like, does come up. I didn't really want to see that one because there was too many trees. So I waited for it to come over here, and then when Dad recorded this one, I saw it. Yeah, you waited for me to turn the <laughs> camera on this time, didn't you? Yeah. Look how, which way did they come from? Um. Point. You can point. From... Veil or from... So they walk from down this trail here. Yep, and right here. And then they come through underneath all this thick stuff right here. That's why she couldn't shoot. And it got or, right here. Or, or they went from the back way right here. Well, they could have went way around, but the, what we got to see of, they were on this trail, yeah. come in here like this. But there was one over there that I but There's the blind. There was one over there that I There's the blood. See. Yep. Dead and deer. So, see y'all here in a little bit. Hey y'all, Big Bub here. Uh, we made it about 25 yards from the shot on our tractor trail that's on our way out. And here, take a look at that. Laying right there, dead. Awesome, awesome. Y'all don't know how much this makes me happy. This little girl, I know it's a little one, but you know what? I don't care. It's meat in the freezer. It's legal where we hunt. And like old Uncle Teddy always said, who gives anybody the right to say she can't shoot something if she worked hard for to get it? So I don't want to hear nothing about the size of her deer. This little girl's doing all the work, everything, stuff that I had to learn, all of y'all had to learn, and... You know, even if they get them little ones, it gets them hooked, man. It gets them back out here the following year. It keeps them going. So, don't tell people they can't get stuff and don't do stuff. But, all right, I'm going to get off here. We're going to get this thing gutted up. I'm not going to show the, that gruesome stuff on here because I don't try to show too bad of stuff like that on my videos. Oops. All right, y'all. So, we made it home. <laughs> it's a... I, I, I'm hand-loading... Uh, special ammo for nana their barns st something they're called a candelier lamb they are sliced on the inside of the copper of the hole so they open up well this morning she went in that shoulder and ran all the way do, down and i can show you all what one looks like this and when i say it leaves a hole this this morning she could fit her fist in it and then on this one it was three inches around so we've had a great hunt for opening day um, we're going to go back out tomorrow so stay tuned stay with us I uh, hope we get some more if not I uh, hope to see y'all either in the woods or on the water catch y'all later